Police in Providence releasing new video of a crash involving a moped operator and one of their officers. New Center 5's John Atwater is in Providence with the latest developments on this. John. And Ben, that new video comes from another angle, but it does not answer a critical question in this case. So it is still not clear if a police cruiser hit that moped on Sunday. Now, in this video, you do see that moped veering onto a side street, actually right up onto the sidewalk, and then you see the cruiser right behind. Now, the video shows the cruiser crash into a stop sign, but it's not clear if that vehicle hits the moped. Now, police have been called to break up a group of hundreds of mopeds and ATVs driving on the streets illegally on Sunday. The crash prompted a protest here last night that turned violent with five officers hurt and 21 protesters arrested. We have no definitive clear video that shows how um, how Jamel suffered the injuries that he has. And what I urge all of our residents here in the city of Providence is to please withhold judgment on exactly what happened. And let's focus on a thorough, complete, transparent investigation. Now, 24 year old Jamal Gonzalez was driving that moped. His father says he is in a coma right now. The officer who was driving that cruiser is on administrative duty. Live in Providence tonight, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.